morning. It's the next day now. Uh, I got pulled off the old service job and took some scrap to the scrap yard yesterday afternoon. So this morning we will just fire the old T6 up, make sure nothing's leaking and check the oils, top, top the oils up, make sure uh, all the filters and all the oil gauges are topped up with oil because um, I always overfill the back back end oil up and the engine oil up just a little bit not a lot but so the filter can fill it with oil because obviously I took the engine oil filter off and the back end filter and you can't really fill them up with oil and put them back on very well um, so yeah let's go and run her up. Leaks? Any leaks while I've been gone? Nope. Looking good. Yep. Guess I better tidy this up now. Got the old 6050. Um, what I need to do is clean that trailer out because it had a load of sugar beet muck that we carted from when they uh, carted away the sugar beet. So that had a load of muck in it and we sort of just left it in, in there. Uh, that's all been tipped out, but it's just still a bit of muck in the bottom. So we're gonna clean that, pressure wash that out. Then we've got, I should think, uh, 20, 17 to 20 ton of wheat sitting in the back of the shed that they don't want to pick up because uh, They're all picking up like the 160 180 pound a ton Wheats that have been sold forward and we never sold that forward um, We never sold it at all until recently with the higher prices. So They're not picked that up. So what we're gonna do is load it up on there probably take me two trips to cart it into the mill uh, over at Fangrain which over at Wimbledon uh, near March so um, yeah, got to clean this trailer out, leave it in the sun a minute, um, don't do a few other jobs, come back, load it up, and yeah, probably make a couple of videos out of this. Well, two probably parts, because it's gonna take me a while, we've got to phone up, book it in, bits and pieces like that, and it might be tomorrow or the next day that I go to Fengrain. But I'm just gonna check the oil on the 6050 first. It could do with a drop of engine oil. It loses a bit of oil every now and again. She hasn't been worked for a while, so let's go put some oil in her.
bought this trailer, we knew that the the brake coupler weren't that great. Been dragged on the floor and uh, yeah, messed up pretty bad. But we might be able to nick it off another trailer. We'll see. So I've just swept the trailer out now. Now I'm going to pressure wash it, but always close the back window when you first put a trailer on that hasn't been tipped up in a while in case you get a nice oily shower it's been done my mum's done it actually <laughs> let's get pressure washing That's better. All right, let's go find some sun and leave it in the sun for a bit. Don't put that down in the comments. Where is the sun, Rob? It's in the sky. <laughs> Someone would do. Now I can see all the bits that I've missed. Coffee time, I think. Then it's the next day. Uh, finished buggering about with the trailer, clean that out. That's all dried out, and we'll probably load up the uh, spare wheat tomorrow because it rained overnight and it's a bit drizzly today. So we don't want to load that up when it's drizzling about. But I went with Dad yesterday uh, in the sprayer. Here's a few clips of that now. put pod stick on the all seed rape. So for those of you who aren't familiar, it's like a glue. <laughs> um, it almost seals the pods um, and stops them, stops them shattering. So when they dry out and, and, and when the plant dies, uh, if you go through with a tractor or if, even if you just hit them, they'll shatter. So that'll stop, stop the uh, pods from opening up and getting all seed rape everywhere. Um, you go through it now and you also go through when you spray it off. So 
Um, I don't know when Dad's planning on spraying your C ray path, but once we spray it, it's two weeks until we can cut it. This is his design that he made uh, to stop all the obviously rape. You can see there we made this to stop all the obviously rape from getting in the front grill and bits and pieces like that. Once we got back to the yard, we did one field, got back to the yard to fill up again, and all this was covered in flea beetle. Uh, we'll get the flea beetle come out when we when we cut the rape, and you'll see. When I unload the trailer, the floor will be covered in flea beetle. It's just weird how it's it's in the plant and it goes through the combine and it don't it don't affect it one bit. Um, but yeah, all this bottom here was covered in flea beetle. You can see a bit of rape there now, and these pods are quite hard. You can't you can't open them just by doing that. Um, so that's why we put pod stick on just to make sure they don't shatter, and we keep most of the crop in the pods and not on the floor. Anyway, that'll about do it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Hit the like, hit the subscribe. We'll see you again. See you later. Ta.